here we go teen angels japan i think this is the first issue and if you buy the first issue you get number two free and um super cool picture you got mc poncho on the front cover you know on the other teen angels um you just have a bunch of drawings and maybe you have you have mc poncho inside of the uh magazine in pictures but here he is on the front cover and a super cool shot of you can see all his tattoos the little the little uh, butterfly is on a wire attached to his finger that's pretty funny and uh let's see what else can i say about it oh yeah this is also one of the only like in the new age of teen angels in the 200s era this is the only one that has a like a real life person in it because all the other front covers are just drawing so i don't know why but seeing the like the people makes me really more makes me really want to get it even that much more i guess it's just a different um feel you know live action photography on the front cover but yeah let's get into it um once again the teen angel japan size is a lot bigger than the normal teen angels Here's the normal Teen Angels. So the Teen Angels of Japan is a little bit um, longer. And yeah. Wow. Damn, you got a bunch of homeboys <laughs> with the Teen Angels of Japan magazine. Freaking bad. hella cool man and again down here everyone has their teen angels japan magazine fire dude feed me and then you have the people having a party with the magazine from la to teen angels japan it's wild man this was a cool um thing they did all the all the pictures are in color and they're all little um, thumbnail sizes. I don't think they ever did this in the in the normal Teen Angels. Looks like there's a art show with a Dia de los Muertos kind of theme to it. Del Amo Family Plaza. Again with the Japanese text that I cannot read. The Blue Rose, 1964. Impala SS, San Pedro. Does it say the year? Or does it have a table of contents? Did I accidentally skip it? Is it this? Nah, I don't think this has a table of contents. But the era is around 2010. Da Lopez. Pretty cool. I don't know why they put the word monster here. Is that her nickname? Monster. Camera guy. Photography. It's a pretty funny name. Pretty straightforward. You have Mas Chingon clothing. MC Pancho representing. Welcome to Magic Japan, or welcome Magic to Japan. Charlie Rowe, Campo presents new music, Chicano rap, the brown print. Auto taste, advertisement for car parts and jeans. Raiders, get your Raiders wear. Indoor from Damn, this is what I was looking for This is what the other magazine kind of didn't have like The Japoneros and their American Chicano gangster clothing <laughs> Straight up Khalifa Stresse <laughs> I love your baby's mama Damn, dude 
DJ Fillmore, Destino, Sian J. That's freaking sick. Yes. Freaking Teen Angels blasted up all the way big. Hell yeah, dude. What a blessing to have Teen Angels original art across the two pages. Too bad, dude. Hell yeah. And then back to Japan. Freaking sick. Look at all these fools with their magazine. What a trip, man. For your culture to influence a whole nother one on the other side of the planet. They even got the Chola bands, Cholo bands. Damn, dude. So freaking sick. Mural arts it. Slow interview. It's this fool right here. Hell yeah. Slow world. Looks like he's an airbrush artist. They had to bring the airbrush. Oh, this fool had to learn how to airbrush, huh? For all those low riders. Hotel Trece Tattoo. I love this. Hell yeah. Japoneros in the building. Car show. Damn, looking all anime, huh? The popping and locking. Seaside Fiesta. Damn, Seaside? <laughs> That's so sick. This fool. <laughs> AZ Night in Cali. Damn, imagine seeing these fools in the street. Just walk, I'll just cross the street or walk or walk around them, dude. <laughs> Kalai and Linda interview. I'm assuming they're music artists. DJ Silent. Damn, fat ass interview, dude. Clever image photography. My space days. Sad girl is sad. And Danny Boy promotion. Carlos O. I guess this is the Chicano rap section. A guy called Knuckles. Hey, Sonic. Studio 409 tattoos. Tattoo section. Chino Grande. Chino. DJ Fillmore's set list, hell yeah. Mona, aka Sad Girl. Damn, Sad Girl in the streets. I wonder how that freaking album sounds like. I'm gonna go look it up right now. Some fool called Joystick. Number 645, Dolly Girl. A little Rob Romero's presents. Zoot Suits. Damn, Japanese zoot suits. Too badass, dude. Damn. I want to see more of this. I wish I could see more of it. Wish the picture was a little bit bigger. DJ Santana from Hiroshima. Freaking scandalous, dude. 
I wonder what names they'll give their kids. I wonder if they'll also give them Azteca names. Or just Mexican names. Carlos, Juan. Dion, Osaka Underground. What we see in the other magazine as well. Super cool. MC Pancho and a child. Red Ribbon. So cool. And we're at the end, my friends. Present from Thai or Taj. Editor's memo. Can't read any of it. I love it. And that's it. Homie Chicano Fez. Fez foreign exchange student. Damn, dude. I love this one. Ah, and the front cover is cool too. Why did they stop making Teen Angels Japan? Why? And um, would Japanese people make their own magazine? Their own art magazine? I don't think I've seen one. Maybe it exists already, but I haven't seen it. Imagine a Japanese um, Chicano art magazine. A Japanese Chicano art magazine. That would be crazy, dude. I think that will break the internet one way or another but this is the the last teen angels that i have you probably won't see teen angels for for a couple of years uh, i don't plan on purchasing anymore my um my bank account's dry but you know i did it all for myself and to show you guys as well so i have like over 20 teen angels magazines on my on my channel go look them up uh, they're all there for you and that's it don't forget to comment like subscribe share peace